Today, we are discussing the fascinating world of sequence-to-sequence -sequence models that laid the foundational principles to influence the development of large language models. The story will span from basic RNNs to the groundbreaking GPT models. We will explore why and how they evolved. Let us start with recurrent neural networks because they are common within sequence-to-sequence -sequence models. Well, the basic concepts started decades ago. Recurrent neural networks, or RNNs, began to kick into applications in the early 2010s. These networks became popular in learning from time series data and sequences. However, RNNs had a significant limitation, the vanishing gradient problem and the exploding gradients issue. Okay, what is the vanishing gradient problem of RNN? The associated neural network learns by adjusting its weights through backpropagation. With long sequences, the gradients can become very small, almost zero in the RNN. What are gradients? They are a measure of correction of weights based on how much a change in input affects the output. Gradients are used to correct the neural network's weights during backpropagation. The vanishing of gradients makes it hard for the RNN to learn and remember information from earlier in the sequence. As a result, the network might struggle with tasks where understanding the earlier part of the data is crucial. What is an exploding gradient issue? Sometimes the gradients can become excessively large. It is then called the exploding gradient problem. This can lead to considerable changes in the network's weights, causing instability and erratic behaviors. In practical terms, it means the model's learning can go off track, failing to converge and producing nonsensical outputs. To solve the RNN issues, the next breakthrough appears, which is called the LSTM networks, long short-term memory networks. LSTMs were specifically designed to address the vanishing and exploding gradient problems commonly encountered in traditional RNNs. The key innovation in LSTMs is the introduction of a structure known as gates. These gates effectively regulate the flow of information, deciding what to retain and what to discard at each step in the sequence. LSTMs have three types of gates. The input gate, which controls how much of the new information to let in, the forget gate, which decides what proportion of the existing memory to forget. And the output gate, which determines what parts of the current state should be output. This architecture allows LSTMs to maintain a balance between remembering important past information and updating with new data, making them much more effective at handling long sequences. By carefully managing the flow of information, LSTMs can preserve gradients over many time steps. LSTMs became a robust choice for a variety of tasks involving sequential data, from language modeling to time series analysis. LSTM's widespread adoption and popularity in various applications surged in the mid-2010s. Another technique named Gated Recurrent Unit, or GRU, is similar to the LSTM as it was designed to solve the same problems of vanishing and exploding gradients in standard RNNs. GRUs simplify the architecture used in LSTMs. GRUs have shown performance comparable to LSTMs in various tasks. The choice between using an LSTM or a GRU often depends on the specific requirements of the task and the computational resources available. Each has its own strengths and weaknesses. The AI landscape was changing dramatically in mid-2010s. Sequence-to-sequence -sequence learning or SIG-to-SIG -sig learning became popular. Some SEC-to-SEC -sig models, often comprising of LSTMs, comprised an encoder to process the input and a decoder to generate the output. They were practically useful in language translation. Combining the encoder and decoder in sec-to-sec -sec models enhanced applications that involved converting one sequence into another, such as translating between languages, text summarization, and question-answering systems. 
SIG to SIG models handle variable length inputs and output sequences. Also, they can capture the essence of a sequence in the encoder's context vector, which is a significant leap forward in natural language processing and AI in general. Then came a game changer attention mechanism in SIG to SIG. While LSTMs effectively handled sequences, they still struggled with very long sentences. The attention mechanism was a significant innovation. It allowed SIG to SIG models to focus on different parts of the input for each part of the output. Attention mechanism vastly improved the performance. By providing a means to focus on different parts of the input, attention mechanisms improved both the performance and interpretability of SIG to SIG models, particularly in complex tasks like language translation, summarization, and question answering. Then came the age of transformers. The transformer is a specific type of neural network architecture that was introduced in the paper Attention is All You Need by Vaswani and fellow scientists in 2017. A transformer is designed to handle sequential data, but unlike RNNs or LSTMs, it does not sequentially process the data. The transformer model is based on attention mechanisms, specifically a variant called self-attention, which helps the model to process different parts of the input data in parallel and weigh their relevance to each part of the output. This parallel processing capability makes transformers very efficient for large-scale training. Transformers have had a huge impact in natural language processing, leading to the development of models like BART, GPT, and others. Then there was the rise of pre-trained language models. In late 2010s, nearing 2020, saw the rise of pre-trained language models like BART and GPT. These models were built on transformer architecture and were pre-trained on massive text corpora. They can be fine-tuned for specific tasks, setting new standards in many natural language applications. We are in the era of large language models like GPT-4 and LAMA. RNNs, LSTMs, GRUs, and attention mechanisms are likely to continue playing a significant role in various applications. These architectures, each with its own strength, are foundational in handling sequential data. They have paved the pathway for more advanced techniques. The trend of using pre-trained models as a starting point for applications is expected to expand in the coming years. The pre-trained models can be fine-tuned to suit a wide range of applications. And that's the awesome journey of sick to sick models in artificial intelligence, from humble beginning to the complex systems we see today. Until next time.